a Queen's by the Minute exclusive. here from the Meadowmere Park Civic Association, also representing Rosedale, um, which this community is right here. I want to introduce Todd Kaminsky. He's been our advocate in this. We've been battling it for the last year and a half, almost two years. There's a lot of facts about this that people should know, which, you know, I'll go over. I want to give Todd um, some time just to let you know what he's doing to advocate for this situation here. Good morning, everybody. Let me get a big cheer. Are we ready to stand up for our of community? Course, of course. Yeah. Now, I, I, I got to say, I'm a reasonable guy. We try writing letters. We try making calls. We try to be normal about this. But when we don't get treated like respect, it's time that we give our voice to say we won't take it anymore. All right, here's the bottom line. These are, these are the homes of great communities. We are nobody's dumping ground. Now this is the farthest edges of New York City. Maybe somebody thought no one else would notice, but our communities noticed. Let's think about two things that make this a really sad situation. This isn't helpful for homeless people. Not we're, not, we're not near a subway. There's no jobs they're going to be walking to. This is trying to keep people out of view, except it happened to be our backyard. Right. Now when you talk about putting sex offenders, which has occurred multiple times, when people are roaming the streets full of children, it's not safe for anybody. Really? So let's do what's right for the occupants, let's do what's right for the community, and shut this down! Yeah. Shut this down! We gotta urge all the elected officials around here to stand up for us. Because we're got a question for you. Are, are we the dumping ground of New York City? No. no. Are we gonna take this anymore? No. For those of you that, that may not be familiar with it, Meadowmere is a wonderful community where people stay generation after generation. Yeah. Right? It's a family community. It's the family's been there for a long time and it was really hurt in Superstorm Sandy. And they've done such a great job getting back on their feet, fighting for government funds, fighting insurance, fighting for their homes, and then to have, then to know that without even being asked, someone put a shelter here, and that there are sex offenders a football field away, is just simply not right. Being a good neighbor means reaching out and having dialogue. It doesn't mean we'll put it here and we'll hope you don't notice. All right. So at the end of the day, we've written letters, but we need to get more organized. We got to keep fighting, and we will not be silent. So at the end of the day, I want to end this rally on an important note where we all come in unison, we all say we're not going to take it anymore, and we end with the rousing chorus of, shut, shut it, it down. down! Shut it down!